Pilaris practice for this morning. Um, let's get started, right? So let's try in this shape on your feet. And I want you to energize your core muscles. Roll your shoulders to the back. And then just create a strong body for a moment. Act uh, activating every muscle in your body, your legs, your torso, your arms, everywhere. Just stay strong for a moment. And then connect with your breathing. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Let's try to synchronize the movements with the breathing today, like working on a flow. So you have to really maintain awareness of your breathing while you exercise, right? So let's start by inhaling, bring your arms overhead. And then exhale gently release. Inhale. And exhale one more time. Inhale. And exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, interlace your fingers, palm your hands are facing up. Exhale, round your spine. Draw that belly button against your spine. Inhale, exhale, cactus. Inhale, interlace your fingers, exhale. Beautiful, open your chest, inhale. Now I want you to open your feet about hip width apart, <clears throat> so you feel that parallel with each other. And then exhale, turn to your right side, very slowly, turn, 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 go, 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 and hold. Now, from here, just bring your arms overhead, inhale. And then exhale, turn to the center, good. Open your arms, shoulder level. And now you turn to your left side, go, go, turn, turn, go, go, more, a little bit further, 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 and hold. Bring your arms overhead, inhale, turn to the center, and exhale, lower down. Just giving some mobility to your spine. <clears throat> so, we're going to start, and go to the back of your mat, or the front of your mat, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I'm going to show you in a profile what is going to happen if you allow me to show you one time. So check out one moment. <clears throat> it's very important that you maintain your core active to support your lower back. Also, your kneecaps should be up. So when you bring your kneecap up, your quadriceps go active. So it's coming up and then your quads are active and actually they will support also to stay strong on your legs. So what you do from here, <clears throat> place your um, right foot across so you have right foot in front, okay? You have your abs engaged. You're gonna breathe in here. I think about there is a swimming pool out there and then you're gonna dive into your pool but with your back rounded. So you bring your belly button against your spine, create a curve in your spine, round. From here, you're gonna open your arms and you straighten your back, inhale. So try to have that back flat. And then exhale, lower down, round your spine, engage your belly, your abs, and come up all the way, inhaling. And exhale, dive into your pull, engage your core, round your spine. Inhale to open. Exhale to round. Inhale, rise up all the way. Back to your arms, exhale. And then gently release your arms. See, we can do the same one to the other side. So let's take the left leg, left foot across to the right. Engage your core. Inhale, bring your arms overhead. Exhale, dive into the pool. Create that curve in your torso, your spine. Inhale to open your chest, straighten your back. Remember, we're working synchronizing the breathing with the movements. Exhale, round. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive into your pool. Inhale, open up and straighten your back. Exhale, lower down. Rise up, inhale. 
and exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, and exhale, release. Loose, 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 loose. <clears throat> All right, as usual, I love to go for a stability segment. So energize your right leg and bring your left knee up very, very, very slowly. Really control movements. Stay strong. Nice. A little bit longer. What would happen if just, just from the inside of your left knee opens nice sideways with your left hand? And if you need to, take your right arm to the side and hold. It's too difficult to have like this, just keep it in front, it's all right. Nice, take it back and lower your arm, lower your knee, lower your foot. So let's try the other side. Before you go up, you need to create a strong foundation on your left foot. So <clears throat> spread your toes, create a strong foundation and take your right knee up, engage your core. Hold. Again, you either stay here, which is perfectly fine, or maybe you can press with the, from the inside of your right knee to out to open that right knee and hold. Maybe you can take your left arm to your side if you have to. So it's easier for your uh, stability, but you can also keep it here, your choice. <clears throat> take it to the front and slowly lower down and loose. Excellent. All right, so let's go for some uh, Come to the front of your mat, so you come to the front of the mat. <clears throat> what we do from here, you're going to step back. Let's start with the right leg. So you step to the back with your right leg. Enough distance, not too short. Make it quite, quite long to the back. So when you go down, your left knee stays on top of your ankle, and your right knee is about, about. And then your hips, so it's kind of a square power. Uh, so it's not too long to the back. It's not stretching your. Uh, we're not stretching your um, your hip flexors, but we are working on the power of your back leg. So try to keep it square, and then you step forward. So we do the same one to the other side. So step to the back. Make sure your knee stays on top of your ankle and take your arms to the front, and then exhale to come back. Let's do the same on the right. Inhale, come on down, exhale. Do the step back, inhale, watch your knees, watch your knees. Exhale, remember it's a very square pose. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, beautiful, open wide. <clears throat> you see my feet are pointed sideways, we're going to do this sumo squat. So think about there is a wall behind you and you just slide on the wall, alright? So bring your arms overhead, inhale, and then exhale, gently squat arms about shoulder level. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, last one, and exhale to stay and hold. Stay a little bit longer there. Now see we can pull for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Now in the next exercise, we just move careful and controlled. We're gonna alternate sides, so watch this. One, two, three, lift. But you see my toes are still on the floor, so you don't have to bring your leg up. And then go back to the squat. One, two, three, lift, and squat. One, two, three, lift, and one, two, three, lift. And one, two, three, lift. One, two, three, 
lift. One, two, three, lift. Now we're going to try to do the single to you. Squat, lift. Squat, lift. One, lift. Don't forget that we're also working your shoulders. So don't give up on your arms. We're doing legs and shoulders. And back. Come on, keep going. For fear. And three. And two. Eight. One more time. Yeah, release. And loose, 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 loose. All right, you go to the back of your mat. Either side, engage your core, lower your chin, and then slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Take your time. Hold here for a moment. Let me cross your arms and hang in there for a moment. <clears throat> Just surrender to this. Feel the opening of your back. Also your hamstring, the back of your thighs. Your head should be completely loose. Let go of your arms. And then we're gonna walk slowly into a plank position. <clears throat> plank, 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 plank. Good. So, stay strong for a moment. Don't give up. All right. Listen careful, you're gonna inhale and exhale, elevate your hips toward the sky. And maybe you can touch your right ankle with your right hand. And then inhale, lower back into a plank. Exhale, lifting your hips up toward the sky and touching your left ankle with your left hand. Inhale, center. Exhale, back. Inhale into plank. Exhale. Inhale into plank to stay. Draw your heels to your uh, side and give your right arm up or left arm, whatever side you choose. And just stay in a plank for a moment. Excellent. Just a little longer. All right, let's try the other side. Just roll your heels to the other side and bring the other arm up for four, three, two, and one, now we're going to a low plank. Low plank, low plank, low plank. Stay there for a moment. Just a little longer. Now let's see if we can do eight times. Your knees are going to your shoulders sideways. So you go eight, here we go. And seven, and six, and five. Don't elevate your hips, and four, stay in the low plank, and three, and two, and one, stay there for plank, for four, three, two, one, lower your knees, sit back onto your heels, child's pose, for 1.5 seconds. All right, come on, sit down. <clears throat> Let's go for a core. Sorry guys, I need to keep that eye on the time. So let's start in this position. <clears throat> so bring your arms up, inhale, and then exhale, round your spine. Squeeze those abdominals. You see, I didn't go backwards. I don't go to the back. I lean forward, round your spine, create a C-shape in your body. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, let's give mobility to your shoulders and arms, so circle, and then exhale. Squeeze like you have a gigantic ball, and just squeeze it. Inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, and then exhale, and hold. Stay where you are, let me turn to you guys. Stay where you are. And then from there, come on up slowly, inhale, arms up, and exhale, we go halfway down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, arms up. 
exhale halfway down to stay how fast we go into a boat so try to maintain your back rounded I don't need your back straight you can have your back rounded right hold it like that instead of being like this just round good a little bit longer ay 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 good inhale and then low boat very gentle exhale coming back hold it inhale to low exhale so when you go on the low boat make sure your lower back is grounded lower your knees lower your heels sorry maintain your feet off the ground roll like a ball so it's like one stay 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 go back to the boat low boat inhale exhale roll like a ball inhale yes boat low boat inhale exhale roll like a ball inhale exhale one more time boat low boat inhale exhale roll like a ball one and two beautiful extend your legs now from here you're gonna take your arms to the side inhale and then take your arms overhead and hold now how your arms overhead I don't want you to go with your shoulders like this up and try to relax your shoulders and you have your arms up but don't take your shoulder with you keep away the shoulders from your ears this is to your ears don't do that but try to lower relax the shoulders all right inhale and exhale pulse twice to your side <laughs> inhale center exhale to the other side <laughs> inhale exhale one two inhale exhale one two inhale exhale one two inhale exhale one two one more time inhale exhale one two to the other side one two inhale arms up and exhale lower all the way down to the floor reach overhead with your arms inhale coming up exhale inhale exhale lower down reach overhead inhale exhale inhale and exhale to stay just right here beautiful come into a <clears throat> come into a tabletop 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 90 degree 90 degree beautiful Take your arms overhead inhale and exhale reaching forward stay there for a moment beautiful now from here what I want you to do is see if you can maintain your uh, shoulder blades off the floor lower your right heel to the floor inhale and exhale now your left inhale and exhale now both legs inhale exhale let's do this one more time right leg inhale exhale left leg inhale remember shoulder blades are on the floor exhale both heels inhale exhale to stay extend your legs bring your hands behind your neck and switch and cross twist for eight and seven six five four three two and one and bring your knees to your chest beautiful mm. okay lay down on your left so your right leg is on top lay down on your left so your right leg is on top so you're gonna maintain your knees in front energize your uh, right arm in front of your chest all right so i don't want this arm lazy doing nothing but try to energize you're gonna take your um, right knee right leg is hovering on top of the other this is a 90 degree angle right so keep it 90 degrees 
This is not 9 degrees. Completely to the front. Good. From here, what I want you to do is to touch the floor with your right knee. Touch. All right. And then what you do from here, you're not inhaling. I want you to extend your leg and then hold it. And I want you to look at your right foot. Can you see it? Means you should put it more to the back so you hide your right foot from you. All right. And then you exhale to come and touch the floor. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, you're going to hold the right there, point your toes and give me circles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, to stay, hold, just hold, Hold, hold it right there. Now what you do from here, you're gonna touch the floor, we're gonna work in both legs. Again, you're gonna touch the floor with your um, right knee. When you touch your right knee, you are going to extend your left leg, lift. And then we switch, we do the same. You take it to the front, place it on the floor. Here we go. And touch and extend, hold that left leg up and switch and switch and switch stay strong try to find some stability on your hips ah, and go this is the last one you stay here point your toes with your left foot circles eight seven six five four three two reverse eight seven six five four three two scissors eight seven six Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Glue your feet together. Up and down eight times. Eight and seven and six. Glue your feet together. You glue your feet together. Keep them together. <laughs> Keep them together. And five and four. Good. And three and two. Last one. And gently release. Come into a table pose. Hands underneath your shoulders. Nice. Keep your feet flat, that flat on the top of your feet. And then tucking your tailbone down and coming back in a, an angry cut around your spine and take your knees off the floor. About 10 centimeters. Nice. Try to soften your elbows and release. So let's try the same onto the other side. So lay down onto the other side. Good. All right, bring your knees to the front, 90 degree angle. Energize your arm in front of your chest, a strong arm. Take the upper knee, upper leg hovering, hold. Now take that knee and touch the floor across over the, the other one. And then when you inhale, extend your leg, hold it. Look at your foot, if you can see it, hide it more to the back so you don't see it. Exhale to go back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, don't forget your abs are engaged, exhale, in this position it's very easy not to have your abs engaged because you, uh, no, keep that belly button against your spine, exhale, inhale, hold, point your toes, circles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, to stay, hold, flex your foot again. Now we're gonna alternate again, remember? So we're gonna work with both legs. So you're gonna lower that uh, left knee towards the floor and you extend your right leg, back. You see that double action? Uh, let's go for it, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale to stay. Point your toes of your of the, of the extended leg and circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Scissors. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, glue your feet together and up, exhale, eight, and seven, exhale, all the way up, and five, and six, five, four, three, two, and one, release, come on to a table, ay, 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 nice, strong, lifting your knees off the floor, keep your feet flat, Woo. going fast in this uh, morning, Pilates, ay, 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 lower down, and come up onto your belly, laying down onto your belly, good, all right, so, Actually, bring your hands by your side, about your shoulders. Now, inhale, mini cobra, lifting your chest. Maintain your spine neutral. I don't want you to look to the front. When you exhale, you lower down your chest and lifting your legs up. Inhale, your chest, coming up. Exhale, your legs, coming up. Inhale, it's like a rocking chair. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale one more time, exhale, beautiful, hold your legs up, take your arms to the back, your chest comes up and hold, start pedaling with your legs and then your arms, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale one more time, keep your arms in front, pedal arms and legs for eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, release. Come up onto your hands, sit back onto your heels, child's pose for 1.5 seconds. Hmm. All right, sit down. Oh man, this is going really down so fast. We come to our end, let's go for a stretch. Take your leg across, let's say your left leg goes across your right. And stretch over to your left side. Let's try the other side. I miss our hour Pilates where we can go really deep into our body. But this half an hour is keeping us Healthy and uh, strong and active, especially active. All right, open up. So if you have the time and space, go back to the video once in a while and repeat the exercises to learn to get stronger into those muscles, all right? So walk with your hands forward. Allow your back to be loose and rounded. Your belly button is against your spine. Nice, stay there for a moment. Let's try to reach sideways, so take your left arm overhead and hold. Feel the opening of the left side of your ribcage. Also your obliques. Good. Try the other side. <clears throat> and slow it down. Good. All right. Take, close your legs. And then open your chest to the sky. Inhale. And exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Hold it. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, thank you so much for having me on Sunday morning, giving you a little bit of a hard time. Please stay strong, positive, positive thinking is the most important. Positive thinking. Have a lovely one. Thank you so much.